Hello there. Today we've come out, cloud inversions over Eland Valley. Uh, just going to climb up this hill and see what it looks like from above. Um, join me shortly, cloud inversions. today I've come out to the beautiful Elam Valley again what I've come for is this don't know if the GoPro is going to pick it up but driving all the way from Radar up to here it's thick fog and I've decided to come over here climb up a couple of hills and hopefully get the milky cloud milky Cloudy inversions below us, so just climbing up the first hill. So, join me in a moment. Just look at this absolutely stunning, incredible. Can't wait to get up the hill. Join me shortly up the hill. So, I've made it up the hill. Uh, I am unfit. Just look at this absolutely incredible I'm going to line up this little bench and the, the fog and the cloud inversion you can just see coming across the top of the hill and down two minutes ago there's an island in the uh, lock there and you can actually see the trees on the island it's just vanished with the fog just rolling down so I'll just get set up for this scene here and I'll talk you through it absolutely gorgeous <laughs> up a little bit higher now with this next shot and there's a beautiful tree probably can't see it just yet we're going to be facing right into the sun let's get out the sun we have this beautiful tree growing out the rocks and we have the cloud inversion behind it so join me in a second I'm just going to set up here and I'll talk you through this shot so for this shot I am going to have to bracket this because it's so bright and because the sun is behind the tree backlighting the tree it's, every, all the rocks just down here are in shade I'm currently almost three stops overexposed just to get detail in these rocks just down here in the tree and if I just change the uh, shutter speed down come down to zero for a normal exposed shot get the beautiful blue sky and the cloud inversion over the over the dam so my settings for this are I'm just shooting f11 I'm at ISO 100 this dark shot will be a shot at zero compensation at 1 60th of a second and then I'm going to open up and probably come to just over two stops overexposed just to get detail through here as you can see there's a bit of sun flaring in the bottom left corner a little trick for you put your hand just if I come in you can see my hand at the top of the screen top right hand corner literally just get your fingers out the shot and you get rid of the sun flare if you move sun flare comes back um, it's quite easy to do just to get rid of a bit of flaring in the uh, in the corner I'm absolutely loving it it's beautiful so similar shot I've just moved back a little bit away from this tree I've got out of the sun flare as well um, let me just brighten the scene up a bit so you can see it 
Again, it's a pretty similar shot to the one I've just took, but we am now above the rock, and we can just see the cloud inversion coming across the top there. The trees on the island are just starting to come out, so again, I'm going to bracket this shot at f11, ISO 100, and I'm going to get a bright shot just to get the detail in the rocks here, and then a normal exposure because this is in shade with the sun. Um, just to get the cloud inversion and the sky. It looks absolutely incredible. Time to uh, head off from here now. Uh, the, the fog now and the inversions are lifting really fast. Um, so I do want to get another little vantage spot and try and get something. Actually, I've just seen what could be another nice little composition just here. Oh, I like that little scene. Um, I'll turn around, I think you can see it with the sun. I'm looking into the sun. That looks beautiful. I'm just going to get a quick shot here. Um, I'll put this on at the end of the video because uh, I do want to get off and get moving and try and find a few other compositions. But just look at this. Absolutely incredible. Incredible. Right, catch me shortly. Next location. Right, just going to head down. Just look at that. Incredible. Um, for anybody who hasn't been to Eland Valley, uh, Mid Wales, it's absolutely gorgeous here. The dams are all in spill now, they're all overflowing. There is a little bit of ripple coming on the water. I do want to try and get some reflections today. Um, farther down um, at Penny Garrig, there's, um, a, the bridge runs across, it's a sunken dam and the bridge runs across the dam um, and you can get some really nice shots in the, in the in the winter months with the bridge lit up orange from the sun and a beautiful reflection so that's where I'm going to try and head now but there is a sign up saying that the roads closed so if it is I know they were doing some felling making some wood out so if it's still closed I may not be able to get down there and I might have to change my plans so what I'm doing now is I'm trying to figure out plan B in my head if I can't get through here um, I'm just hoping that they're not working today or they're finished and they just haven't moved the sign yet so fingers crossed I can get through catch me in a bit here's the bridge um, it is a little bit too foggy here at the minute. I have just took a shot. A ten, I've do, used a 10 stop. Oh, I'll get my teeth in. I've used a 10 stop filter just to smooth out the ripple. Um, and with a bit of fog, it should be a nice moody shot. This, so we'll see what it looks like. Um, as always, I'll put it on at the end of the video. In fact, I'll put it on now so you can have a quick look now and it'll be on again at the end of the video. Um, I have caught this early morning with it lit up orange, the bridge, but it's not going to happen today. Um, I might just hang on five minutes just to see if, see if it will lift just a little bit more and then get the sun to light the bridge, but uh, I think this is all I'm going to get here. So, yeah. After this photo now, um, I'm moving up to the little waterfall up the top, get that on the way back out. So just driving back and come across this scene here. 
there's a massive cloudy inversion in the valley I've just stopped here just to take a quick photograph from here um, I'm just using the road as a leading line going down but I am hoping now it's a shame there's not a road up onto the hill up here um, I think there'd be a spectacular shot of it from up there and I'm going to continue down the hill now and hopefully there is mist just round the next bend so I'm hoping we can get close to the, just the edge of it and look across the top of the, uh, the mist it looks incredible so I've just found we've got the cloudy inversion in the distance and we've found this lovely waterfall running down uh, I'll just show you the back of the camera and talk you through it so what I'm doing with this just brighten the image up there you can see we have the waterfall running in from the left hand side and running down you can see the little river running off which is going to take us straight up to there goes to work again that lovely cloud inversion in the distance I have got to bracket the photo um, the camera is trying to meter on the water so I'm shooting pretty much I'll just get the settings up so you can see we're shooting minus three just under minus two and zero uh, just to get the dynamic range for the shot I'll put it on at the end of the video so that's it for today um, what a great time over here we uh, we got some lovely cloud up at the top of Craig Gock Dam we, uh, we've got a backpacker down here as well oh he's coming up the um, we've got some lovely cloud inversions and I'm going to carry on driving if I do see any more I will stop and get photographs but I'm going to end the video now any future photos will be on at the end of the video anyway so yeah please give me a thumbs up and subscribe if you like this this video there are links to everything in the description below and please send me a comment just drop me a comment below tell me which your favorite images of today um, and why you like it um, I think I've got some nice images I wouldn't say anything epic but there should be some really nice pictures in there um, yeah I'm gonna carry on I'm gonna try and see if I can get another shot of this cloud inversion a little bit closer to it uh, until next time take it easy